and codeine was the skill. But I kept the Jolly Ranchers so it remained a juice. It helped me notice real quick someone judging you. Then they put your shoes on, asking what they been through. But I was gone off that cup, fucking up my mental. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Jay's Talk. We're back with another video. Disclaimer for this video. This video isn't meant for you to go out and commit any violence, any crimes, it isn't to make you crash out or anything. It's just to tell you the truth and let you know what it is. So what today's video is about is about, you, you gotta be a villain at some point in time. It's time for you to start being a villain. And what do I mean by that? Because you might not understand that at first. You might think I'm talking about some crazy stuff at first. I'm gonna explain that to you. Let me just give you examples, bro. In society, do you think you're gonna win in this rigged system, playing by their rules all the time, being a law-abiding citizen all the time? You think you gonna, you know, be good in the dating game with women, you know, with anybody else, you know, just being a nice person all the time and shit, you know what I'm saying? You think you're gonna win in the world just following all the rules, being a nice person and doing all this da 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 da, -da shit. Like, if you really think, that's how life is supposed to be. Like, yeah, it's, it's a part of it. Don't get me wrong. It's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? To be a good human being and shit. And, you know, have good and positive energy. But it's going to be like that all the time. And you sometimes have to be a villain sometimes. Because in one way or another, here's one thing you got to understand. You are doomed to be a villain. At one point in time, it's just going to be by somebody else's perception. And it's up to you to be upset about that or to embrace that. Because you got to understand, there's no avoiding that shit. It happens to more people than others, like me and myself personally. And sometimes you just got to embrace that shit, bro. That's just the truth. Because in this life, in this rig system, bro, man, you got, man, you got people being villains. People are villains. The real villains, like, what I'm saying, let me put it to you like this. So I'm not talking about like no real, real fiends and goons that be doing some evil shit behind the scenes. No, I'm talking about a villain who just be on their purpose, doing what they do and what's best for them. And they get called a villain by somebody else because of their perception, because they don't agree with it. Like I could be called a villain a lot. Other conscious people be, can be called villains because they're not religious, because they're not Christians. You feel me? I could be called a villain because I can speak some truth and the truth is ugly and they don't want to hear the truth. I could be a villain for that. I could be a villain for pursuing my own path, path and my own passion. But my passion is so powerful, raw, and it comes and rubs people the wrong way. And now I'm a villain because I am the way I am. And it's not because I got bad and ill intentions towards anybody else, but it's because of the way of how aggressive and how passionate I am about that, that it rubs people wrong. So that's just me being a villain. And sometimes you just gotta accept that, bro. And it's cool. It's cool. You, you're you not here to be pleasing everybody. This, this is, bro, you gotta understand, bro. You gotta, sometimes you gotta go in with duality and take the balance. You know, you got you know, your chill side, your cool side, where you're being a good person. And then you got your, you know, your villain side, your dark side, where you have to embrace it more to understand that in this society, you're not, in this life, you're not gonna win just following off rules. And I've known this since high school, bro. You're, it's not gonna happen. It's just reality. And you're just not gonna have to not give a fuck sometimes. And again, it's not to rub nobody the wrong way. It's not to go and do some dumb shit. It's just to say that you have to stand on business, whether if a motherfucker rock with you or not, whether if society rock with you or not, whether if family rock with you or not, whether if she rock with you, whether if he rock with you, it don't matter. You gotta stand on business. It's as simple as that, bro. Like, I can really keep going in on it, but it's as simple as that. Also, the next video I drop after this one, it's gonna be on, um, like, shadow work, because I recently been trying to start on more, more shadow work more and embracing your dark side. You know what I'm saying? That might rub people wrong because they don't understand they don't read for shit, but, and study, or they study for shit, but whatever. But it's cool. Just understand that in this if you're still on this video shout out to you a real one but in this life you have to be a villain one way or another now you can be now you can choose to do that and embrace that or not to you know what i'm saying and it's and, and you know there's different types of villains and shit but we know we give out good examples of ones like you know what i'm saying um 
Killmonger, you know what I'm saying, Punisher, because I'm a Marvel fan, so I'm just going to throw those out there. Uh, Butcher. I ain't going to lie, Butcher. You know what I'm saying? He a little more aggressive than the other ones, but he, you know what I'm saying? Why I named them three? Those are the ones that just came off the top of my head, but you got to think. Um, they're going to get to the goals no matter what. No matter what they have to do. And it may sound ruthless and whatever, but you got to understand that given what's happened to them, hey, it, it, it was going to come around full circle eventually. Like, Killmonger, he grew up in the projects. He sees that in America and all around the world that we as melanin people are oppressed. So it's only right that once you got the power to change that, you're going to want to change that. You feel me? Frank Castle, a.k.a. the Punisher, guess what? He served the military and how they thank him. They went and then off his whole family. So he was rightfully so going to be violent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Butcher, guess what? If you watch The Boys... Butcher was just a, you know, he was just a regular dude, chilling, doing whatever and stuff. His wife got raped by a superhero, or a super, as they say. He got raped by a superhero, and it fucked him up. I mean, his childhood fucked him up because his father abused him and his brother, and he killed, and he was the reason his brother committed suicide. But what really messed him up even more was that, hey, he was starting to get better. You know what I'm saying? Then his wife got raped by a superhero, and if you read it in the comics, he got raped and killed because of that because he's superhero so you know it's it's, it's it's just so crazy so i'm not gonna keep going in more into that because i'm not trying to get uh flagged for that but yeah man so they, these people you gotta understand why some people turn into them and you, sometimes you just gotta embrace it bro i i made a video a while ago talking about embracing my room like i'm like hey some things hey you just have to be selfish worry about yourself but you know that's the that's the thing for the video, bro. Just go out there, handle business, no matter what. Don't let nobody get in your way. You know what I'm saying? Not saying y'all do nothing stupid or nothing, but just handle business and stand on business. As simple as that. That's the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back with another one. Peace.